This video is sponsored by World of Warships! World of Warships is a free-to-play game available on PC with top-notch new graphics. There are over 40 unique maps with dynamic weather that make up the world of World of Warships. The game has just been updated with stunning new effects and textures that make the game see virtually indistinguishable from the real deal. Choose your favorite ship from multiple classes, conquer the seas aboard battleships, destroyers, aircraft, carriers, and cruisers, or if stealth is your option, why not try submarines? New content is released every month, which includes new ships, in-game nations, cosmetics, or even ship classes. And not only that, but they have 12v12 PvP battle arenas! You can play as a lone wolf or in a division with your friends. And if you are just a connoisseur of the naval variety, the game is a unique digital floating museum displaying breathtaking recreations of some of the fearsome vessels of the First and Second World Wars. Even blueprints and designs of ships that never saw the light, but exist in the game's virtual dockyards. Oh, and did I mention the game is also available for console? So if all of that has wet your appetite, <laughs> see what I did there? You can download the game in the link in the description down below, and if you use code BRAVO during registration, you can get all these cool rewards, as well as a ship of your choice, for free! And with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. Welcome back to a special unboxing video. Why is it special? Because I found friggin' dinosaur gotchas. Gatches. The gatches? Gatches. Yeah, gotchas. dinosaur gatches. Like when I made the first video, I really struggled to find anything that was like dinosaur related. Uh, but now, it's been like one or two months since I made that video, or at least when I recorded it. Would you believe we went to like this huge gacha hall? I don't even know where that was. Do you remember? Sunshine City. Sunshine City, that's the one. And they had like two or three massive rooms filled with gachas. And not only that, because of Dominion coming out, there's been loads of different things. So they've done like Jurassic Park, Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, and Dominion. So I have got prezzies. Yay! Yay! Um, Get a prize. <laughs> you know what? I'll just put it down here. We'll pick from it. <laughs> tea break. Ooh. You need something to put your droppings into. My droppings? Drop, droppings, droppings. droppings. <laughs> I'm a terrible husband. Lizardon. What Charizard is called in Japan. It's weird. So let's start with, don't know what this one is. I imagine if it's not a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur. <laughs> Just as I said, I've got loads of dinosaur ones. Yeah, I think we got this in Kyoto, if I remember right. I think I think I did. Oh yeah, he's so cool. I love him. It's like a, a sumo frog. And there's loads of other ones. I was kind of hoping to get one of the uh, the green tree frogs. Heck yeah, we got the good one. I didn't really like the big toads. If we just have a look at the quality of it, there's like different shades of green that have kind of been airbrushed in there. It's a far cry from like, I don't know, Hasbro or uh, Mattel, like to get something like this. Like, oh, look, we're not asking much, right? But that, the quality on it is awesome. I love it. Will this one be a dinosaur? Oh, oh it is. Oh, oh God, it's a lot smaller than I was imagining. But this is the scene with the Indoraptor on top of the roof. Just as Claire points the gun in it, and then it turns around and goes, oh, I'll attack Chris, I guess. You're, you're gonna be Mario? Oh, can't have that. <laughs> oh, now we've got a proper mystery with this one. Number three. 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 Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow, you come in so many different parts. <gasps> Whoa, yes, I remember these ones. So this was from a gacha that did not only, you know, dinosaurs, because you see dinosaurs quite often, but um, prehistoric mammals. So you've got like the giant sloth or the, the Shasta ground sloth. You've got the, I don't even know what that <laughs> elephant is. <laughs> just, just like a disembodied head. <laughs> Prat Pratibirodonsan. Pratibirodon... Something like that. Anyway, it's, that's the one. Put the name up. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks really cool. Like, the detail on the ground especially. 
like with the uh, the grass bits and also there's a bit of water that runs through that they've made clear acrylic so it was probably all clear and then they went through and painted it that looks so nice the dry brushing on top of it the color for the like the eyes and then they even have pupils oh i think this is more expensive though i think this is like 400 to 500 yen three pound maybe three three four pound if that on to number four we'll go for a pink one Yes! <laughs> a little bit of a difference here from Dinosaur. <laughs> it's Pingu! I saw this the other day when we were in that like Sunshine City and I couldn't help myself. It's freaking Pingu! And it's awesome! Like where where else are you gonna find that looks that good? Or anywhere? Like where are you gonna find a, a cartoon of Pingu? Japan, that's where you'll find it. On to number five! Woo! <gasps> Woo! Yes! Yeah, so this was actually from uh, one of the dinosaur ones as well. This is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm making this video because I, I It's Pokemon Go Raid time Whitney! Excuse us while we, we do this. Oh, Blue took it over? Oh wow, there's a shiny Mewtwo here. There's a shiny Mewtwo? Freaking nerds! <laughs> Oh, shiny! Freaking shiny! That got a shiny turn, yes! Yeah? Well, there we go. That That's great. Back to the video then, I suppose. If I remember correctly, my first video, I took B-roll of these dinosaurs, but I, I couldn't find them anywhere. But they're apparently back in, uh, back in stock, and here we go! Our first proper scientific feather dinosaur. Orini. Or it just says underneath, Ornithomimus. Is this the one that sings the egg song? No, that's the Struthiomimus. It's the best song that Land Before Time has ever done. There you go. Bring in Struthiomimus or Ornithomimus. My bad. Sorry, got Land Before Time 2 on the brain. So in this set, I think you can get two versions of the T-Rex. You can get a Deinonychus, I think it is. I'm, I'm assuming it's the, or a Utahraptor. And of course, a Triceratops. But I feel like there's another version of this because they usually release them in sets. So I think I might have even been able to find the uh, other set. <laughs> Let's go and open more balls. Oh, we got another Jurassic Worldy Pteranodon. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh man, that's awesome. Imagine if you got like five or six of those, you could have like a flock of Pteranodons. Uh, coming towards him, but that's really nice. It's I'm assuming this is the Jurassic Park 3 because uh, if I remember right this sketch had Jurassic Park Jurassic Park 3 and the Lost World and because that's so rare like whenever apart from like in recent times Did you ever find merchandise for an old Jurassic movie after like 2003 you just didn't see it, but now here it is! A freaking Jurassic Park 3 Tyranodon! That is awesome! And this time, it's a Triceratops! Ooh! Now that could be an Easter egg, and maybe it is, but the base is strangely shaped like a certain Isla Nublar. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome as well. Now, normally with Triceratops, you just get it in like its regular pose, you know, where it's just like stood there. Maybe it's roaring, maybe it's doing a little attack towards something. But this, I don't know if Triceratops could actually do this. Maybe it could, but it's like a little fighting pose. That's, that's a unique thing to see. I like it. Yes, this is the other set. No, this is the set that I thought I saw. The thing is with these dinosaur gachas is most of the time they're not cheap. They're like 400 to 500. Um, but I mean, if you look at the quality on them, it's awesome. So you have a chance for a T-Rex, a Velociraptor, some sort of Hadrosaur. I think there's a Triceratops. That's a lot of pieces. Oh, I thank you. Oh, wow, this is really big. Come on, get your head out. That's what she said. <laughs> the base leaves a little bit to be desired. Maybe it could have worked if they'd put the um, name of the dinosaur on, like, round the base, like a little title. That would look cool. I haven't looked at his face. What's going on with the face? It looks like an alien. Hadrosaurs don't get enough love. And look, it's, an, it's a unique pose. It's like on its hind legs, sort of turning. I like it. Yeah. Actually, so far, that's my favorite. Oh, maybe Pingu is. <laughs> no, no. Because the Pingu I saw growing up had really creepy music. I remember like, oh, it's cartoon, but. <laughs> oh, this, yes. This is one of my favorite Jurassic Park movies. Getting the love it deserves. Got to put together the sidewalk. The sidewalk. <laughs> That's offensive. What well, to who? Me. 
me. Yes, look at this. That looks so good. It's like the little city. You remember that scene where all the police cars come around the corner, the T-Rex roars and they go, oh, they sort of back off. But the detail on the T-Rex as well, the fact that its mouth is painted red, its teeth are painted, its eyes, its pupil, and it's a tiny little thing. Absolutely squishy or chisai. <laughs> when Jurassic World came out and you got the mystery bags and those tiny dinosaurs, not a patch on something like that. On to number, lost count, let's go. Look at it, a Carnotaurus. Yes, the devil of the isle, the thing that everybody hates. The meatball. I think his eyes maybe could do with some work. You thought T-Rex are tiny arms? Ho <laughs> oh, ho! Wait a minute. Oh, this is the Fallen Kingdom one. I feel like this one didn't have as much love as the San Diego one though. You got the scene, I think, in Fallen Kingdom where the T-Rex splits up the fight with the uh, Sinoceratops and Carnotaurus and then just stands on him. But uh, actually out of all of them so far, this one feels like it got the least amount of love. The base is kind of meh. The Carnotaurus doesn't have too much detail on it, if any detail on it, apart from it being a different color. And the different body parts of the T-Rex are different colors. Back leg is like way darker than the rest of it. This is the same set that gave us a freaking airbrush Pteranodon wings. I feel like they were just like, ah, what happened in Fallen Kingdom apart from Indoraptor? I don't know, T-Rex rolled? Yeah, let's get that. <laughs> oh, this could be a good one. Oh no, <laughs> it's another Stricky vibe. We'll call this one Ozzy and call the other one Strut. That's the names in the show. Maybe the T-Rexes surprise them from behind and there's a Carnotaurus. Ah! Apparently Whitney wants to pick the next one, so I'm gonna give her the bag. Give her the bag. Oh, oh! This one's heavy. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at this. Oh, we've got like prehistoric mammals, but also like things from the Odovician Sea. Oh, these look awesome. There's even an Anomalocaris you could get. Oh, we got like the best one. This is like a two for one. Get out, Mr. Turtle. Oh, his head fell off. You can't move the back flippers, but you can like, because these are on ball joints, you can move these. And then also, his mouth opens too. And not only do you get him, you also get a cool little uh, ammonite too. Can you compare the size? Like the biggest we had so far was like the Lambiosaurus. In comparison to that, wow. I hope I got more of these. <laughs> You could probably buy these individually, but when it's in a gacha, it's just so much better. Give me another one. Oh, yellow. It's another Jurassic World one. Oh, okay. It's another Fallen Kingdom uh, T-Rex and Carnotaurus rule. I think we can probably skip this one. Ooh, this is, oh, finally, it's not as truthy as It's a Dakota Raptor. Ah, one of the raptors known to have maybe crossed paths with the T-Rex. Because Velociraptor surely didn't. Not a Jurassic Park. Now what the engine, engine did, did on Jurassic that island Park. was interesting colorings. They're not too vibrant. They're all in like the same sort of vein. But you know what? Nice to see some representation of feathers as well. You got them on the uh, on the forearms. I'm a feather dinosaur. You shouldn't be scared of me. More like a six foot turkey. You know more than ever. Is that, whoa, what is that? It's a frigate or a shag. Tobunogata Rikute. There you go. Didn't really get the other leg in, but got the first one in. And I'm assuming this is some sort of prehistoric giant diving fishing bird. Oh no, Meganeusan. Meganeusan. Apparently, that's what this one's called. <laughs> Don't know what the hell that is, but we got a giant bird. Oh, oh. Ooh, I think this is the giant ground sloth. He's licking the tree. Oh, that looks so cool. These like prehistoric ones, or at least the prehistoric mammals, um, the megafauna, uh, they've definitely spent a lot of effort like on the base and just crafting this sort of diorama that they've got going because you could just have something like it posing and that's it. But no, we've got it actually eating and interacting with a tree. Megatari Musan. Okay. Six meters tall. Yes. You go there, baby. Oh, we got it. Oh, it's all galaxy. Oh, this is another frog. <laughs> it's a toad. Oh, that's awesome. Got like a bow of rope on the back. I'm assuming that's like, I don't know much about sumo wrestling, as you can probably tell, but maybe that, because they grab each other by like the, the back, don't they? So maybe that's like how they try and lift each other up. Hold on, where's the other frog? Small green frog or the giant toad? <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh yeah! No, this is the, the one you got me. So this is actually like a tiny gachapon and it's the dinosaur one. Tiny little gachapons you can make as well. And then stickers you put everywhere. 
half an hour later, we have our fixed gachapon with stickers and everything. Twist the thing. There it is! You got a tiny little gacha! Look, like the level of details that they go into with all of these different types of, even to the extent where you can make your own gacha machine. Whatever you want, you can find in these. Yeah! Oh, there was three in there! Oh, okay. I turned it a lot, apparently. One of these is not like the others. Oh, it's another Jurassic Park one. What will it be? I'm, you know, I've almost forgot we've got dinosaurs in here now between the, the frogs, the pingu, and now the gacha machine. Oh, it's the Brachiosaurus scene from the first movie! We've got the San Diego T-Rex, we've got the Brachiosaur, all we're missing now is the Spinosaur in flames, and then the Baby Raptor. Off we go. Up, cut, hip, hip, up. Oh, you were aiming for the face there. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, it's the gray T-Rex. This is the one I actually recorded when I was like, I couldn't find any T-Rexes. Oh, this one goes together perfectly. Yes! Boom, there it is. The T-Rex. And it's a big boy. More of the uh, scientifically accurate T-Rex. It's a bit more chunky. It's nice to see a T-Rex that doesn't look like the Jurassic Park T-Rex for once. Oh, look at that. That kind of works. Those two together, like the T-Rex and the Lambiosaurus. He's like, no, don't kill me, please. So we've got one left. What will it be? Will it be a Jurassic Park? Will it be Cat Battery? There it is. So there you have it. I actually thought I had a little bit more, but apparently not. So maybe for the next video, I'll find more of the Jurassic World ones. There was definitely a gachapon that I saw that I obviously I didn't have the money at the time, which was just the Atrociraptors from Jurassic World Dominion. So that's still floating around somewhere. So maybe we'll do another trip to Sunshine City or Akihabara or just basically anywhere in Japan because they have gachas everywhere. So if you've enjoyed this video, a little unboxing thing, always fun, isn't it? Ooh, you get to see all the different things that Japan has to offer. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Sponsor Beaver back again. Just want to say a big thank you to World of Warships for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to check out the link in the description down below to take to the seas and start playing their awesome game. Bye.